Man, what a great start for Converse in this 2024. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness. If you are new to the channel, this channel provides a lot of product review, specifically footwear design, and sometimes here and there we sneak in a couple of clothing pieces that I think that are interesting to share with you guys. And I always include a few different looks to give you guys ideas how to styling with the shoe or the product that I done my review. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys come out of nowhere model from Converse. It's a Converse Tuck 70 Deluxe Square. This shoes, they don't really release it on their Converse.com. I'm wondering why. Maybe they release it in Asia because I seen a couple of Asian website, they have this model. And also some selected store that have this model is forward.com and extra butter. I bought these shoes on forward dot com uh, at first i didn't know this release until i see some of the instagram posts that have this model i thought this shoes is a knock up from like aliexpress or temu even though i'm not a fan of the square toe shoes maybe 50 50 you know this is kind of track me into the square toe the type of shoes that i would wear somehow like i'm still I don't know, I still stand on my ground that I'm not a fan of the square toe. However, I really like the aesthetic design of the shoes. Something that very different from Converse, but still keep the originality, the DNA of the Chuck 70. I really love the design lines on the shoes because they all have directional design lines, especially from the top down view. When you wear them, um, the square toe is a little bit different. It's angular compared to like typical square toe which is pretty good you know that's why i give it 50 50 for me to like them on these square toe shoes and it's kind of bring me back to one of the chris van s baluti dress shoes the metal toe shape that is very similar to this toe it's kind of give me that comparison but this one is a way more affordable compared to that dress shoes from Baluti, right Baluti possibly that dress shoes is called like at least two thousand dollars this one the price is very affordable as usual from converse is only 110 dollars and also the design aesthetic on these shoes give me the vibe of rick owen collaborations um i'm just wondering why he didn't pick this over the other square toe shoes it looked much better than the other rick owen collaboration with converse that square toe is just too ugly for me to even look at it it's disgusting man if he picked this model it's an instant hit they released two different colorways uh, the first one is a black colorway that one is sold down they still have some size left on extra butter um, but they don't really have my size so that's why i have to go with the white cream colorways because you know in the end of the video i'm gonna show you how i personally like to style with the shoes I'm not just going to talk about the shoes. Everybody can talk about the shoes, but in the end of the day, how can you styling them? That is how you make it different, right? The sizing though, just go for the regular Chuck 70. Um, usually when I wear the Chuck 70, I always go half a side down. Converse wide, in my opinion, Converse is one of the brand top knot out there in the comfort. Uh, most importantly, they are very affordable too. However, the toe area is a little bit heavy, but do not worry about it. They have a very good toe spring. Let's talk about the upper of the shoes. It's a combination with PU leather and canvas. To me though, the PU material is a little bit inexpensive. It feel a little bit rough, but the price that you pay for not that high so i don't really expect it's a good pu material on this upper um i don't really care um i'm just gonna focus on the design of the shoes the canvas material though they use is very good i would prefer the canvas that they use on the collaboration between rick owens and converse that canvas is 
I just like feel like that heavy duty, the thickness of that canvas is so much better than the regular Juke 70. And go to the toe area, it's the most iconic detail on canvas. I mention this a lot every time I review a pair of canvas model, right? They still keep that rubberized toe, but this one is more like they are cut chop shape make this toe shape square and angular the more i look at this it's give me the vibe of the gundam feet um very cool robotics um this toe shape is a little bit thick too man no wonder when i walk on the shoes i feel like the toe slightly heavier than the entire shoe the eyelid have the hexagon shape instead of the round shape and on top of the tongue, they have the PU leather tongue pole with the asymmetrical shape, uh, as well as in the back. They kind of exaggerated all the ways higher than the regular Juke 70, and they are very functional as well, because uh, when you're styling with your long pants, you can leave your pants cup up here. It's gonna stay there. And on the heel counter PU pieces pattern, they also have that directional lines cut and in the middle side the iconic canvas took 70 all star is in hexagon shape it look like the umbrella cop you know if you play resident evil you know what i'm talking about and in the lining they use thinner canvas for a better canvas and go to the insole of the shoes if you pull them out though they look exactly like the took 70 insole a very thick you know, this insole is the key for the comfort of this model. And this tooling, they are inspired directly from the Chuck 70 original tooling. Man, I love this tooling, man. Every time I look at this, I think it looks so sick, especially on the top down view. You know, they still have that kind of angular or the sharp edge cut in the toe area and also in the heel area if you can see this there's an angular line and on the midsole the wall they still use that rubberized balkanized constructions on this midsole uh, if you can see this in the forefoot they have the split right in the radial size and also in the middle size in the bottom you can see this split as well the balkanized construction and in the missile, you still can see the inspired detail from the Tuk 70, right? The black paint edge in the top line and also in the missile. And in the back of the heel, they have that Converse All-Star Tuk Taylor tag in black and white. The outsole tooling is pretty much is the same outsole tooling from the Tuk 70. They basically just build the tooling around the original, the existent also tooling from the Tuk 70. I love this design, man. The designer who designed this, man, I give you a prop, bro. You've done a good job, man. Hopefully in the future, I can get the black pair in my size because the black pair is that what I'm looking for to get one. The weight pair, if you've been following me through my YouTube channel, I'm not really a fan of the waist shoes that much. I'm more into the black pair. Black pair is my style. And styling with the shoes though, usually my favorite type of style when I wear with Converse Chuck 70 is I often to push my lace around my ankle. That is what I usually kind of styling with the Chuck 70 and Rick Owens as well. And I create three different looks to go with the shoes. I think I done pretty good job, man, because I was so hyped to put these shoes on my feet and styling with them.
overall, I think the shoes is great. You know, if you have kind of rebel type of style, then this is the shoes for you. Oh, I forgot about the height the shoes gonna give you is around three and a half centimeter height. Uh, definitely gonna boost up your confidence a little bit with that height. And if you like one of the outfit in this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can wait to share with you guys. And I can wait to see what Converse gonna release next.